a cave in the middle of the Harat Rahat in Medina. Good morning from the Harat Rahat in Medina, which is basically the lava fields surrounding the city of Medina. We have joined up with Sana Tourism to do their volcano tour. We kicked off our tour with them by having a dinner at a farm outside of the city last night where we ate goat and just sat around and talked. And of course we ate kunafa, which is one of my favorite Arabic desserts. And so now today we are out exploring the lava fields, learning some things about volcanoes and when these things erupted last in this area. And we're just enjoying getting to explore some new places with some experts. So let's go check it out. This part of Harat Rahat is really special for two reasons. The first reason is that this is the most recent volcanic activity in Saudi Arabia. And the most recent eruptions were in 1256 AD, which is less than 800 years ago. The other reason that this is a really important area is that it's extremely close to the city of Medina. Most of the volcanic activity that we see is pretty far away from the cities. However, this most recent volcanic eruption in 1256 came very close to the city of Medina. And over time, Medina has actually built itself out over the edges of the lava field. The scientific name of this kind of lava that's very sharp and looks like a bunch of rocks is actually called Aa. -ah -ah. That's the scientific name of it, Aa. -ah -ah. Because when you walk on it, it hurts your feet and you say Aa. -ah -ah. And the type of lava behind me is called Bahui Hui lava. It was formed when a pool of lava would sit and it could cool and create a nice smooth surface. I'm getting all my volcano questions answered. <laughs> That's the main cinder cone that started the eruption in 1256. formed when the lava flow at the top cools, it solidifies, but there's still lava flowing underneath until that stops forming a nice hollow tube. This is, so cool. this is a cool place to have a picnic, but just like always, please take your trash with you. This lava field, Harat Rahat, is huge. It runs all the way from up here in Medina, down the coast, past Jeddah, to within 30 kilometers of the city of Mecca. It's gigantic. Here behind me, you can see all the ash fall from some of the volcanoes. This ash fall is a lot like the gravel that we've seen in the black sand dunes in Al Ice, as well as when we were in the U.S. this last summer and we went to Craters of the Moon National Monument. After some eruptions and all the lava has formed, sometimes subsequent eruptions from different volcanoes can cause more earthquakes and create these big fractures. This is a Mar crater similar to Waba crater that we've been to in previous videos. And a mar crater is basically formed when the flowing magma from down below hits the water table and the result is an explosion. We've now made it up to the top of one of the craters and looking down into it is pretty awesome. Behind me is a geoglyph, which is a rock formation that people built about five or 6,000 years ago. And they don't look like much from the ground, but they look pretty awesome from the air.
To finish off our volcano tour, we have actually come into the city of Medina, into the part of Medina that we're allowed to go to, and we are doing a tour of the different foods that you can find here. Now, what I learned tonight is that Medina has people from so many different places that the food reflects that as well. So we're gonna go try some really awesome food and maybe some food that's a little bit unusual. Let's go check it out. Wanna try it? I mean, why not? Yeah, we might as well. This is a spirit, why not? <laughs> this is a shop that specializes in the meat of the head of a sheep. And we're about to try. what it's gonna taste like. <laughs> So on the left, we've got the goat's head, and then on the right, we have goat that's cooked Chinese, northern Chinese style, right? Who's first? <laughs> The texture is super different than I thought. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this creamy, like a creamy thing. Oh. oh, very nice. No, not for you. Not <laughs> <laughs> the creamy. Okay. <laughs> not my thing, no. Northern Chinese style. Mm. The skin is really good though. Yeah. So that wraps up our time here in Medina and it has been an awesome time and we can't wait to come back and explore more. We want to give a big shout out to Sana Tourism for putting together this awesome trip. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and let us know in the comments if you'd like to come and explore Medina.